Okay, here's a quick guide to scientific notation and powers of 10, which is what the whole worksheet is all about. Um, quick word about numbers first, about how we write them. Let's take a random number, let's say 65. Okay, 65, it's six tens and five units. Six tens and five, 65. Okay, if we write 0, 065, it's the same number. That's no hundreds, six tens and five. It's the same number, okay? And we can write as many zeros as we want. It's the same number. And the same is true in the other direction as well, of course. 65.00 is still 65. If I've got 65 pounds in my hand, it's the same as having 65 pounds and zero pence. It's the same number. And of course, that can go on forever as well. 65.00000 is still 65. It's the same number. Usually we don't bother writing all those zeros because they don't make any difference, but we can imagine that they're there. Okay, so this is how we usually write numbers. Um, the left-hand half of this is, uh, is what you learned back in year one when you're learning to add up your tens and units or tens and ones, whatever you called them. You got thousands, hundreds, tens and ones, and obviously that goes on forever to the left. And then you got a decimal point, and then all the right-hand parts of that as well, the tenths and hundredths and thousands and so on and so on, that, and that goes on forever too. And if we take um, a number one, um, when we write a number one, we can imagine it with this whole string of zeros before it, and then point zero 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 zero, and it's the it's still the number one. If we want to make it ten times bigger, we want to multiply it by ten. What we actually do is we shift it to the left, and it drags all of its zeros with it, and we end up with one in the tens column. It's worth ten times more now, and zero in the ones, and you've got ten. And if we do it again, the one moves across to the hundreds column. We've got a 100, zero tens and zero ones. It's 100. Zero, 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 one, zero, zero, point, zero, 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 zero. It's the same as 100. There we go. If we get the 65 back from the first slide, we can do the same with that. We've got six tens and five ones, 65. If we multiply it by 10, we just shift it all to the left. The six tens have become six hundreds. The five ones have become five tens, and we've got 650, 650, okay? We can do it again. Do it all again, the 600s have become 6,000, six ten, uh, five tens become 500s, and you've got 6,500. And no tens and no ones, and no tenths and no hundreds and no thousands, and so on. But you don't bother writing all of that um, before and after. It's 6,500, there we go. Now, it also works in the opposite direction. If we want to divide by 10, you take the same numbers and you shift them to the right. So the six tens become six ones, the six, oh sorry, the five ones become five tenths, five tenths and a half, you've got 6.5, it's six and a half. Six pound fifty, if you divide 65 pounds between 10 people, each gets six pound fifty. There you go. So, on to the homework sheet. The first question is 3.2 times 10 to the 2. Times 10 to the power 2 just means times 10 and do it twice. So you get your 3.2 in here, you multiply it by 10, and you do it again. Your three ones have become three tens and then three hundreds. Your two tenths have become two ones and then two tens. And you've got 320. There's your answer. 3.2 times 10 to the 2 is 320. Um, and you can do the same with any number. Another one off the sheet is 2.43 times 10 to the minus 3. Now, uh, you can't multiply something minus 3 times, but all it means is do it 3 times in the opposite direction. So you put your 2.43 in here, and you move the figures to the right instead of to the left. And you do it 1, 2, 3 times. There you go. So your answer is 0 0.00. .00 243. There you go. You've got 2.43 and you've divided it by a thousand. You've made it, you've pushed it all three figure, three places to the right. So it's, each figure is now worth a thousand times less than it was. The two that was in the units column is now two thousandths and so on. There you go. What scientific notation does for you is to make numbers more easily understandable, more immediately understandable. If you look at the top here, 0.001 grams and 0.001 grams, 
Which of those is bigger? I don't know. They 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 look the same. It's hard to parse the information. Look at the bottom half though. You've got one times ten to the minus eight, and one times ten to the minus ten. Oh right. So it's now obvious that the first one of those on the left is actually a hundred times bigger than the one on the right, because eight and minus eight is two away from minus ten. That's two whole decimal places away. That's a hundred. The the top one there is a hundred times bigger than the other one. But that's so much easier to see with the scientific notation at the bottom. There you go. Hope that helps.